everybody in this video i will talk about python programming language python is very popular programming language it can be used for database programming like we can perform different crude operations using python easily python can be used for web development functional programming object oriented programming so python very very easy i have already installed python within my machine uh, you can go to the python.org website from there we you can download the python and install within your machine now i will start my ide python id okay i will start a new file okay okay in python if you want to display hello or like string it is very very easy to that do that the command we will be using to display string is print okay print suppose i want to display hello world i just have to write print hello world within the double code hello world is a string so i have to enclose that string within the double code okay so first i will save this file save then where is my i created a folder python folder let's give the name the first dot py py is the extension for the python file now click run run module you can see here hello world is displayed suppose we want to display more text we can use print the niche okay print nepal okay print mount if we rest okay now save this rerun this now we can see hello world the niche these texts are displayed in python variable is declared as we assign value to it okay suppose the x is a variable and we are storing 55 and we can print the value of x like this print x save this run now we can see the value 55 here as we assign value to the variable variable is created okay in python it is not necessary to mention the data type for the variable like in c java we have to declare data type of the variable like this in tx in java c c plus plus we have to do something like this but this is not necessary in python okay variables are we already know that it, it is a name for the memory location for the memory location and whatever value we store within that location will be stored and that storage that place will be named by this variables name okay yux here is the name of the memory location where we will be storing 55 okay we can create a string variable like this str equal to kathmandu save this print okay ct then comma str comma is used to concatenate here okay let's run this module syntax invalid oh, okay this is a mistake in python i have to use this hash sign to comment okay double slash that is the commenting style in java c c plus plus or java c but in case of python we have to use hash sign to comment the text okay now save this run this okay you can see ct kathmandu okay in this way we can use print method to display string okay we can display the value of string and text also number comma x okay save this run this we can see number 55 here we can do math okay let's have two variables a b 44 b b 55 then sum another variable is assigned a plus b then we print sum of a and b is comma sum okay here what i'm doing is i'm writing sum of that is the string so it is enclosed within double quote then comma then the variable a then again another string then variable another string then variable here variable 
and strings are separated by comma okay so this comma will be separating this variable this variable a b sum from this strings with what we have written within the double code now let's execute this save this run module okay you can see sum of 44 and 55 is 99 here the a will be replaced by its content b will be replaced by its content sum will be replaced by its content here in memory location a we have assigned or stored 44 in memory location b we have stored 55 and in sum this is the variable the name of the memory location we are storing sum of a and b so in this way we can do the math if you want to do this okay it's d control c control v suppose the, um, difference uh, division okay now let's uh, some difference of a and b uh, what division division of a and b okay whatever i have written the sum i can change the name of the variable if i want but it is not compulsory here initially i am storing sum of a, a and b to this variable sum i can rewrite the value here now here i am storing difference between a and b to sum here i am dividing a by b and storing the result to sum so now let's execute this saved now let's execute now you can see this okay so in this way we can do simple arithmetic and the operators are very simple we are already familiar with these operators plus minus divide for multiplication we will be using asterisk so in this way we can do math this is the basic thing okay in something different in python we can do something different than other languages suppose we want to assign multiple values to multiple variables at the same time we can do something like this z is equal to 11 30 22 33 now print yux y z okay i will make some space between these variables mm -mm. okay now what i am doing is here i have three values and three these three values will be assigned to x y z here we are having three variables and 11 will be assigned to L x 22 will be assigned to y 20, 33 will be assigned to z so now let's save this execute this run module now you can see 11 30 22 33 so this is the, the different we cannot see this kind of variable assignment in java c c plus plus in python if you want to assign multiple values to multiple variable at the same time we have to do something like this here the number of values and number of variables must match here i am providing three different values so there must be three different variables suppose i have one another value let's say now i can write another variable pick okay save this okay so now display this value pick now here we are having four values 11 22 33 and let's say and here we are having four bed actually here we are having four variable four values and we are having here four variables okay so the number of variables and number of value must match the data type of variable or data type of value doesn't matter it doesn't make any difference now let's run this run module okay you can see let's say 11 33 okay in this way we can assign multiple values for multiple variable at the same time okay now now let's do one more thing let's use the print statement and let's write some then okay plus yux now we can use this plus operator here also okay i can write it pick now let's see what will happen okay run module now you can see some load say plus is working here actually plus is arithmetic operator when we use plus with numerical values it will add those numerical 
value variables or numerable values but here sum that is enclosed within double code that means it is a string pick we are it is a variable name where we are storing another string that is the load say so these two are strings sum that is string and the pick the variable here we have stored the string so when we use automatic plus operator with strings they will get concatenated so the output we can see some load say okay string plus string they will get concatenated but if we use numerical var value what will happen let's say actually it will not work it will throw error you can see up to here it's perfectly working let's say but here we are having an error because we are trying to add number to the string and we already know that number cannot be added to a string so this python is showing error to us but whatever line before this print statement is executed properly python is interpreted language okay remember that this is not a compiled language it is an interpreted language so it will execute its code line by line until it finds any error if it finds error it will stop if there is no error within the whole code whole program will be executed line by line here all the codes above this print statement is executed there are no problems those all statements are executed line by line but here in this statement we are trying to add number with the string and which is error so here error is shown 